Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros and welcome to another edition of What's Happening Wednesday. This is another weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which gives me the perfect opportunity to keep you guys updated with things that I've found going on in the world of Transformers. And at the moment, there's always something new. This is, I think, the last images I'm going to be showing you from the Shanghai uh, Wonderfest. These are Trumpeter images. So these are another model kit. These are also licensed by Hasbro and Takara, so they can use their proper names and in most cases use their proper likenesses. Even though these are chibi styles, um, you can still tell exactly who they are. So this is your Bumblebee movie chibi style figures by the looks of it. That sound wave looks incredibly good. And as you can see in the background, there are all the pieces used to make him up. Now, they also do some serious figures, which you'll see in a second. But as you can see there, they look great, to be fair. That's one of their serious ones. This is, of course, Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. In fact, it might be Rise of the Beast now, I've just said that. Um, it is by the looks of it. There he is in a display case. And there's the rest of the accessories that you would have to build him all the way up. Now, at the moment, they've been doing um, Rise of the Beast and indeed Bumblebee movie uh, model kits already. They've already released a few, uh, but obviously they've still got a few characters left. I think that's Shatter. Please let me know if I've got them mixed up. There, of course, is Shockwave. And then, of course, we've got the Tetra Jets from the Bumblebee movie as well. And it also looks like they're moving on to the last night with regards to their other kits. So, as I said, these are licensed by Hasbro or Takara. They don't transform, but they can use their proper names and proper likenesses. Okay, guys, anybody who's heading to TFCon Baltimore, there's another fantastic guest been confirmed. This is Doug Parker, who again is another voice actor. And again, these TF cons across the States and across Canada just look seem to be getting better and better. Talking to people in the States, good news is Legacy United Way Ford Deluxe figures have been spotted at US retail. They've been found. So that's, of course, your G1 Optimus, your Quake, Cyberverse, Slipstream. And they've been found at Walmarts across the country. These images are especially from Princeton, Florida. We've got some beautiful images now, some much, much better images. All these, are, again, are taken from TFW 2005, if you want to see them without the glare. This is, of course, their take on a Hot Wheels Ultra Magnus. Now, of course, it doesn't transform. It's your standard Hot Wheels size figure. This is not to be confused with them. Um, there's your normal Optimus. So it's not to be confused with the transforming Super Premium Edition one we got. These are just standard figures, uh, standard size. And what I mean by that, there's the packaging artwork and you'll see here so it comes under there are they calling it rigs or something the big they are sorry track fleet figures so it'll be the same size as them and the other trucks and this should be out at normal retail i'm yet to find a normal optimus prime anywhere if i do i'll let you guys know but hopefully these will turn up and we'll be able to find some more for ourselves all right okay chris carter uk guys as well if you're heading to tfcon tf nation sorry getting them mixed up this is the minicon in reading chris carter is a confirmed guest there as well and i keep saying this and i do genuinely mean it it is so good that all these conventions are on and it's so good that we get the opportunity for the writers for the voice actors and for anybody who's played any part in you know making our childhoods or indeed making our adult lives especially special with their writing and voices it's great to actually be able to meet them in person this is something that's mainly for America because we don't get anywhere near this amount of things or these products on Amazon Prime Day or Prime Big Deal Days. I seriously check out if you're in America or you can order via America. This is just a portion of the list of figures that are available. I'm not going to read them all out. It's still valid for the rest of the day, guys. Check it out. Check out the huge amount of figures they've got on sale. I checked out the ones in the UK and it's not even worth mentioning. It really isn't. It's really quite bad, to be honest. Right. Pre-orders. This is now available from all the major players in the US. UK, guys, as I say, you could pre-order this from uh, in-demand stores. And I think Kapow is, in, is doing pre-orders as well. So all the same images, nothing new. Again, these are taken from TFW 2005. Super 7 at the moment are killing me. Um, I haven't seen these at retail anywhere, but I think I'm going to have to have a look at them. So these are the VHS versions. So we've got Optimus Prime, we saw Soundwave, and now we've got Megatron. So obviously they're not VHS tapes. They look to be the same size as the VHS tapes, though. And it's just got your little Super 7 figure inside. Once again, it is another non-transforming figure. You can see there, um, again, very cartoon accurate, a lot of fun, uh, but exactly that. It's again licensed by Hasbro, so they look fantastic. 
Right, I always focus on these as well, even though these are figures that we've seen before. Um, also, maybe if you've missed out on pre-orders these, these are now live for Takara Tomi, and of course they do ship worldwide as well. So if you missed out on these, you can now order them from Amazon Japan, and they do ship to the UK, because that's where I get lots of my things from as well. Um, they basically as well have different time scales, so pre-orders got differently for different figures. I'm just gonna pick a few here just to show you. So there's their lockdown. They're releasing him basically as a normal figure. So obviously for us and the rest of the world, they were in the Star Raiders capsules. He's just going to be released in normal packaging uh, by himself. So that's great news for anybody who missed out on him. Uh, we've obviously seen him in person. I've obviously done a review on him, but I like to, again, make people aware of this in case, they, in case they've missed out on the orders. And just because a lot of the times they do do different images which look amazing which you can see this of course is dino king i've not seen these images to be fair so as i say i wanted to share these with you this is one of my hotly most anticipated figures of the year and the more and more i see of this especially these guys here it makes me wonder if these were originally the design for the molds i genuinely think looking at these now that dino king was supposed to come out first but i think they may have tested the water with uh volcanicus because it just looks spectacular and of course dino king were all dinosaurs obviously with the dinobots they had to invent well they didn't invent they put the extra character in scar whereas funny enough i'm looking at mine right there now and they look exactly like the, the pretender shells so i think is the word pre-tool i'm thinking it was a pre-tool to be honest last thing on here though guys something that i always i love dr Wu figures just because they're simple and fun and they are teasing us with some pre these aren't available anywhere yet as soon as they are i will let you know another three sets so we've got the side swipe mold going with ransack red alert still side swipe mold going with of course uh bludgeon not bludgeon yes it is is it? No, it's not bludgeon. Barrage, there we go. And Chop Shop. And of course, their take on a tiger track. So if you want to be able to pre-order them as soon as they come available, I'll let you know. I get most of my pre-orders for stuff like that third party from Show Z. Don't forget, guys, if you use my code Toys R Us, keep putting it in that bar. It will run out, but keep putting it in. You can use it as many times as you like. Here's some of their pre-orders at the moment. We've got the Fans Toys Constructor Cons. We've got the Megatron there from New Age. We've got upgrade kits. Funny enough, there's the Doctor Wu first ones, the Datsun Brothers with the other in insecticons we've also got um yellow park kits three no, not yellow uh, three zero models um loads of them as i say there's blocky sentinel prime as well an abundance of figures please do check them out there's about 14 pages of pre-orders with regards to this channel i have come home from work early the kids aren't here i've got the kitchen table to take over and i'm going to attempt to get the battle stars platform done i don't believe there's a video of that anywhere on youtube i was going to say ebay so hopefully i can get that done and get that out later and then of course i've got my own prime so i can start doing the height comparisons again um, and as always guys there is so much going on i will keep you guys updated and i'll keep the reviews the information and the news and everything coming thank you very much for the support take care